Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to turn your Raspberry Pi Zero into a USB keyboard. I'm currently using the Raspberry Pi Zero is because uh, I can use its uh, Wi-Fi capabilities to uh, connect with it, like use my phone or my computer by turning my phone or computer into a wireless hotspot. Um, and yeah, let's get to it. So, the first thing you need to know is I got these instructions off this website. This website will be in the description uh, for this video. And uh, yeah, let's. And I'm, exp I'm gonna explain. This is just a setup video, by the way. This is just to set it up, and I'll show you the coding a little bit later in, in another video. So uh, just to set it up, the very first thing you need to do. Well, obviously you need a Raspberry Pi, but here are some lines of code uh, that you want to paste into your uh, into your command line of your Raspberry Pi Zero. And I'm interfacing with my Raspberry Pi Zero using Putty from my computer. So you want to paste that line of code there and hit enter. And I'll, I'll explain what each line of code does. So um, so it's not uh, so it won't be as mysterious. <laughs> so exact. So this line of code here, sudo t. Well, t is sort of like uh, it creates a file. And exact what you're exactly creating, you're actually creating this file here. You're not creating, you're opening up a file. So you're actually opening up this file here, this config text file. It's located in boot. You're opening this up and using the append method to paste this line of code right to the very bottom of this script here. This is a script. And so you're opening this script up in your Raspberry Pi and you're pasting this line of code right to the bottom. And and again, this 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 is what uh, this a does it, it basically means append and T is just a, I guess a script editor so it doesn't exactly open it open it up and it, it just basically say, saying that paste this into here and same thing with this line of code here again uh, this is this this here this is a, a script modules is a script and you're opening it up using T and you're appending this line of code to the very bottom. That's what a pen does. It, it, it allows you to paste things right to the bottom. Again, you're doing the same thing with this line of code here. Uh, this is the same, actually, this is the same um, script modules, this file here. Uh, you are appending um, this line of code here, libcompose, to the very bottom. Again, this dash A means append. Okay, so once you've done that into your Raspberry, well, let me just show you here. So uh, I'm currently into the boot directory, and if you remember, over here, the the boot directory. This is where this config uh, config file. That's where it resides in this boot directory. So here, I'm currently in the boot directory, and if you look inside the boot directory, uh, there's a whole bunch of files here. But conf the config text file is right here. So if I open up this file here, I'm gonna use nano. So sudo nano and this config text here if I open it up you can see if you, if you go straight to the if you go straight to the bottom you can see here this line of code has been added or appended right to the bottom of this of this um, of this script uh, and if you take a look here this is the exact same here this line of code DT overlay uh, this has been appended to the bottom of this script here and that's exactly what, um, let me just exit out here, that's exactly what uh, this line of code does. Echo all this line of code, all it does is just opens the script and pastes this line of code onto the bottom of the script. And you do the same thing for all these. And over here, this is sort of the same thing. Uh, touch uh, essentially just creates the script without opening it. So you're actually creating this script here in this directory. Again, all you have to do is just copy and paste this into your command line of your Raspberry Pi Zero and it does all the work for you. Over here, uh, this is the file you create you created earlier in this directory. You actually have to give it executable permissions. So you can actually give it executable permissions by using this command here, chmod plus x. Uh, the plus x means allowing for execute. Chmod stands for change modification. Again, uh, sudo means super user. So if you're not in super super user mode, you have to type in sudo every single time. To for apparently there's a lot of, you need a lot of there's a lot of security on <laughs> on these Linux computers. So you need to type in sudo before you execute command. Unless you're in super uh, super user mode, then you don't have to type it. But for most part, you just type sudo because even if it's not required, it'll still run. So you just write sudo regardless. So again. Uh, chmod means change, mo uh, change modification, change mode 
to execute mode. You can also put 777 to give it all permissions. That's one way of, of allowing, uh, allowing um, this file here to be executed. And over here, uh, you're opening up this file, RC local. Um, RC local is in your Raspberry Pi, and it's typically um, it's, a, it's a very popular place place to put scripts to run at boot. Uh, which so essentially, um, you don't necessarily have to stick it here. Sometimes I use a cron tab to um, to start start a script at boot. But this is also a good place. It seems like a popular place. So you basically essentially what you're doing is you're opening up this script here. And you're pasting this line of code into the bottom of the script just before the exit O. So let me let me show you. So I'm just gonna copy this, and I'm just gonna go to to here. I'm gonna type that there, and it should open the script for you. So I'm open open the script, and as you can see right here, just before the exit, I pasted this line of code into this script, this is the same. This is the same line of code here. This is the same line of code I paste. That gets pasted into this script, and once that's done, all you have to do is exit out, and everything it should be saved. Don't forget to save it. Yeah, so you should, so you should press Control S to save, and then Control X to exit exit out. Okay, let's take a look here. So once all that is done, you need to because uh, you made this file earlier and you gave it permissions. So you need to, it's basically right now it's an empty file. So now you need to fill it in with some scripts. So again, you're using this line of code here. Nano is a text editor. It opens up this file. And once you open up this file here, once it's open, you're going to copy and paste this entire script into this file here. And uh, and that's all you need to do. All this is pretty complicated. This is all like this assembly code. Um, so I can't really explain it, explain it to you. Because it seems a little much <laughs> beyond my understanding, but just make this. So just make the script. Make this. Get this. Open up the script here because you made it earlier, and you paste this line, all this line of code into that script, and then you just save it and you exit. And then what you gotta do? I, oh, I also believe that this line of script, you also made it run at at boot. We used to get you stick that line of script. Right, remember, remember over here, you actually stick this line of script into this RC local so it would run at boot. So when you start, when you when you turn off your Raspberry Pi Zero and you turn it back on, it's going to run that script. And once you run, and, and that's it, and that's about it. Once everything is run up, then you're at the, then you need to do the Python part, and I'll show that in the next video.